All right, so on, on Friday, the dollar wasn't up, interest rates weren't surging. So what was the reason for the sell-off in gold and silver? Well, I'm going to explain what I'm pretty sure is the reason. Um, the uh, banking cartel, you know, first off, governments, I've gone over this before, governments have a vested interest in trying to keep the price of uh, gold and silver, the, the canary in the coal mine, so to speak, uh, contained um, when they've got an inflation problem. So, you know, it's pretty clear every time uh, gold um, pops above 2000, we get uh, an almost immediate attack to drive it back below that. At some point, that's going to fail. Um, but um, the, the banks have been short this market for five months now, but they haven't been able to really get much downside traction. And they've even had some help from the dollar. The dollar has been rallying um, for about nine or ten weeks now. And despite all that and interest rates rising, uh, the banking cartel hasn't really been able to, to produce much of a gain on their short positions. Um, I suspect, um, you know, once the uh, spending bill gets passed, which it will eventually, um, the dollar is probably going to top. In interest rates uh, may have already topped. Bonds, bond prices may have already bottomed. And so I, I think the banking cartel is about to get stuck in their shorts. So they need, they need to manufacture an exit so they can get out of those shorts. I think that's probably what is going on here over the last, last three days. Um, the, the first thing that uh, the banks need to do is they need to break some support levels, trigger some stops, panic, you know, some retail uh, gold bugs, uh, get them to, to sell their shares so the banks can buy back and cover their shorts uh, into, um, you know, a, a selling panic with, with a lot of volume. So, um, you know, understand what's going on here. You've got, you got banks that have been heavily short. Uh, they haven't really been able to, to make much money on those shorts during the, the last five months. And now they, they are starting to sniff out a potential top in the dollar here pretty soon, which is going to take away, uh, you know, one of the um, uh, tailwinds for their shorts. And, and if uh, bonds have bottomed and interest rates have, have also topped, uh, you know, at least for several weeks, um, bonds are in a uh, secular bear market, but, but they, you know, it's time for a counter-turn rally. And those counter-turn rallies can last 10, 15 weeks. But anyway, uh, if if they've lost the help of the bonds and the bonds are getting ready to rally and they're about to lose uh, the uh, tailwind of a rising dollar, then then they need to get out of those short positions. Uh, they need to cover the rest, and I think they they are covering. We're starting to see some heavy volume uh, in the in the mining shares, which is where they they tend to focus most of their manipulation nowadays. They've just gotten too many um, penalties and, and fines for manipulating the metals. So I, I think they mostly focus on trying to short the, the mining stocks and, um, and trust that the, the metals will kind of follow the miners down. Well, that hasn't worked very good over the last five um, months. So uh, if the dollar is about to turn, which I think it will once the spending bill gets passed, uh, and may, it may already be anticipating that anyway. I mean, they always eventually... Uh, strike a deal once everybody gets enough pork or enough um, benefits for their donors, then then the deal goes through, and so it's going to happen. And so uh, I think they are anticipating a turn in the dollar, and they need to get out of those shorts. So uh, understand that's what's happening right now. It's nothing more than that. They want to panic uh, longs, gold bugs, so that they'll panic sell, and then they can cover those shorts into that panic. So we are within, you know, a few days of, of a bottom here. Once the bottom occurs, uh, I'm about 95% positive we're going we're gonna to finally break out above these all-time highs at, at 2090. But, um, you know, the, the same thing always happens at every one of these intermediate bottoms, and, and the banking cartel depends on this. They depend on emotional gold bugs uh, getting... Um, 
you know, extremely bearish and, and panic selling um, because they just don't think there's any way to break the manipulation. There's any any way that metals can turn and go up, but but they always do. You know, the, the that kind of sentiment was rampant down here at this bottom, but the, the banks, you know, exited their shorts, got out of the way, and then we had this huge rally out of this eight-year cycle low. We are setting up for the rally that's going to break out above these all-time highs, and it's just going to take you know, maybe a couple more days for the banks to panic enough people so if they can exit those sh their short positions and get out of the way of the, the rally that's uh, coming once this is done. So understand what's happening. Uh, think logically and uh, you know, make it as hard as possible for the banks to get out of their shorts. Hang on to your positions if you're long. If you're not prepared to buy here, you know, it, it, you, literally we're close enough right now uh, because we're within days, but you know, if you want to try and time the exact bottom, uh, you know, who, who knows exactly where that's at? It'll come when the banks have gotten rid of enough of their shorts uh, that they can stop attacking and and let the market turn and go up naturally.